happy Monday. I'm home for lunch. I'm on my own today for lunch. Steve is at an economic development meeting and he is taking the Montana Economic Developers Association representatives who are here to help Shoto around town and they're learning about Shoto. They're helping us with some projects and they did an assessment and this is the final phase and it's been a long process and we're pretty excited for it to be done and for us to get to work. So I'm home for lunch on my own and I was wandering around the kitchen and I found something very exciting. I don't know if you can see them but there in the corner there's some basil growing and there are a whole bunch of little tiny tomatoes and in there there's even more little oregano's. They're so little. So we are actually growing things. Currently we have no sage and no rosemary but we also have this incredibly pretty plant that is um, bleeding heart. I judged a contest for my one of my friends who does piano lessons and I helped with her kids composition um, judging and she gave me this and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I don't know where I'm going to plant it and I don't have high hopes for me keeping it alive which makes me super sad but I'm going to give it a try. trying something new and different tonight. This is, you can't see that, chorizo. And the nutrients is pretty good. It only has no carbs. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna put these on the grill because of course I have no idea how I'm supposed to make them or what they're supposed to taste like, but we're gonna put them on the grill and then we're gonna try a piece and decide what we should eat with it. At this point I'm thinking cheddar and sour cream. Got some sizzle going. Yeah, I know my coals aren't as hot as they ought to be, but these are already cooked, so I really just want to warm them up and get some char on there. Apollo, what do you think? I'm too tired. You good dog? Yeah. Are you a good boy? Yes. Paolo. Who's a good boy? So we have dinner. Chorizo sausage, two of them, with some sharp cheddar and a little dollop of sour cream. I'm pretty excited about this. It's new and different for us. It's Spanish chorizo, Steve wants me to let you know. So that's it. We're excited for new things to try on the grill. What is up, you guys? Sorry I haven't been around on the vlog lately. Um, been a crazy week. I had a big economic development uh, program that I helped organize and participated in on Monday and Tuesday and that took up a lot of my time. Um, and today we went to town and, and did some grocery shopping. Didn't have a lot going on that way. Um, but I just wanted to touch base really quick and talk about what's going on in Boy Scouts. I serve on the Montana Council um, as a Vice President of History. So I'm also part of the Executive Board and just there's been some uh, some big news coming down the pipe the past week or two. Um, late, the latest one, of course, is the um, announcement by the LDS Church that they will be uh, ceasing their chartering of Boy Scout troops and Cub Scout packs starting in um, the end of 2019. And you know, just I wanted to address that a little bit. It's it's scary. Um, in Montana, it's like 30 percent of our scouts, 30-35% is the number that I've heard kicked around. Nationwide it's about 18% or 400,000 scouts. Um, big number, a little bit scary for the, for the, the, a little scary for the movement, but not untenable. Um, the other big announcement I think complements it. Starting next February, we will be allowing girls to join uh, Scouts BSA. And of course, there's also the name change from not Boy Scouts anymore. Uh, we still remain Boy Scouts of America, but the program after Cub Scouts will now be Scouts BSA, and girls will be allowed to join that. We'll have girls in the Cub Scouting program. Um, so yeah, I, you know, it's a little scary suddenly losing all those members in about a year and a half or so. 
but I think there's room for opportunity. Um, I don't think all of those LDS units and all those LDS um, scouts and scouters will suddenly leave, you know, scouting. Um, we'll see a few of them leave, but I think we'll see a lot of people who whose parents, whose dad was an Eagle Scout, who who's working towards Eagle, will stick around. Um, we'll have to work to create new units and new opportunities for those scouts uh, starting in 2020 and and I'm looking forward to the task. Uh, I know in our neighboring community we only have one scout troop and scout pack and it's an LDS, they're both LDS units. I'm pushing to start a unit, start a new seed unit over there and, and get something going. It will be open to girls and boys I'm hoping and it'll be a new opportunity and I think we'll be able to grow. Maybe It'll be a little, little bit of a bump for a while, but long run, I think it's going to be really good. Anyway, I wanted to touch base on that and, and just make a comment on it, because I know a lot of folks know that I'm involved in scouts. Um, it is scary, but I think it's also a big opportunity. Tomorrow starts another 100 Days of Keto with Wild West Keto. Steve and I are really excited and I thought you might like to see what we were eating for dinner the night before the 100 days. No surprise, it's keto. I am grilling tonight. We're going to have some Greek food, um, pork souvlaki, which I have made in a video I think before. Um, I did it a little bit the lazy way tonight and I did not go to the store and get any peppers or any onions so we'll just be eating just the pork and some tzatziki that I made yesterday nope I made it on Sunday because it I thought we were going to eat this yesterday and then my day got really busy at work and I didn't get home until after Steve had already gone to his meeting so he ate leftovers and so did I which is just fine that's why we make food ahead um that's my favorite part about keto is everything is refrigeratable easily and it's easy to reheat things that I make ahead. Meatloaf in this case and pizza meat for Steve. So, we're going to grill. What you think? Lassie, you want grill? You want a barbecue? Lassie. <laughs> Never to be left out from the attention. You hear Lassie barking, but I like to make sure the grill is nice and hot, um, and we will put the pork on. So I like to start with indirect heat, and then I'll move them directly onto the coals at the end. So we'll put these on for two minutes aside on all four sides. Souvlaki has been cooking for six minutes. So I'm going to move it directly onto those nice hot coals and get some grill marks just a couple of seconds aside, maybe 30 seconds, um, another minute over the direct heat is my plan. This is one of my favorite things. Steve found this for me and it is exactly the right size for skewers and it's a beautiful earthenware bowl. It's got a nice deep lip. I'm sure it's not for this, but this is what I'm going to use it for is bringing Suvlaki to and from the grill. Well, not to the grill so much as when it's done, put it on this nice plate and take it inside less likely to drop pieces than if I just pile it on a plate and then I have a little pyramid of meat so this will be way better. That's how I like my souvlaki to look. A little bit of char on the outside, nice and browned. Tastes better. Souvlaki can be made in a pan in the kitchen but I really prefer it to be made on the grill. It's one of my favorite things and it's the easiest Greek food to make I think. Um, except maybe tzatziki which is equally easy and it pairs perfectly with this so so here we are plate of dinner we're gonna have about eight ounces and there'll be leftovers which will be nice because it's super good the next day maybe better the next day than the first day so there it is so serving size is going to be two skewers right at eight ounces of pork a little olive oil and seasoning on it we're also going to have tzatziki which was made with this Greek yogurt. I used to say that one Greek yogurt is as good as any of the rest, but this is the best that I've ever tasted. So, so the tzatziki is this, and it's made with 
one whole cucumber shredded. You can do a fine shred or a thick shred. Steve prefers a thick shred, so that's what we use. Um, and I use garlic, or garlic salt in this case, and a little salt to make this sauce. And it's keto and great, and we love it.